Hello everybody, here we are again in my kitchen, which is your kitchen, and we're gonna do today something like I love to do when I'm hungry and I wanna eat in five minutes and I have nothing around home. But what I always have is this, a can. And I know cans have very bad name and I don't know why, because the cans have done nothing to you and I. They are good people. They are silent, they are there waiting sometimes for years this one is not any can, it's one of my cans, so yes, this is like a commercial. These are calamares en su tinta. Okay, yes, Spanish, I know, I know, I know, I know. A squid in ink sauce. A squid in ink sauce. What we are about to do is a great pasta. And the pasta can happen fast and can happen quick. So this is what happens when you open a can of squid in ink sauce that probably you will have to send your shirt to, yes, to the laundry room. And believe me, uh, you're not gonna make it happen because that black dirt in your shirt is gonna be with you forever. You should take that touch of black ink squid in your shirt as a medal, a medal that actually you are a person that you are able to cook on your own. So don't be afraid to say your shirt is dirty. I say, no, I am a general. I've been feeding myself all these years. Great, that's the way you should approach this. So now you open the can and what happens? It's all these tiny creatures that they used to be in the ocean and now they're in the can and they're happy because they're together. They're so together. This is like, yeah, this this is like a love affair happening in a can. So why is this great? Because this squid, they've been cooked. And they've been cooked in a sauce, a sauce that has onion and maybe green pepper and a touch of tomato and the ink of the squid itself. And then it's cooked slowly until they are tender. So this is ready. You can eat it cold like this. Why to do anything else? Well, because this is way too easy, people. And if you are following me, you want the next, the next step up. What we're gonna do is this. One of these cans can be expensive, but if all of a sudden you're able to do something else, you are not only able to feed yourself, but maybe you are able to feed four people. So here we are multiplying, with all due respect, a squid. Yeah, no, no fish, but a squid. Yeah, if Jesus had a squid, he probably will be multiplying a squid. This is what we are about to do. So we got the can, we got some water boiling, and I bought some mussels. You're gonna tell me, Jose, I have no mussels. Where I live is no mussels. I live in the middle of nowhere. It's fine, people. You can buy probably clam water. Clam water. Yeah, clam water. They sell it everywhere. Okay, you don't have clam water. Fine, water. Why? Because this already has flavor. But this is the way to do it 2.0. So we're gonna do and put the mussels in this boiling water. I'm not gonna give you ingredients because ingredients, quite frankly, it'll be the recipe that you can find somewhere around longer tables, but the important is the thinking, the thinking. So here probably have, what, uh, two cups of water? But take a look what happens. In the moment you put the mussels in the water, the mussels were closed and now all of a sudden, bah, they're popping up, open. They are releasing the water they have inside them into the water. All of a sudden, this water has the nice, rich, beautiful flavor of the ocean right here. It's an amazing way to make a stock. Cannot be any quicker. So now, we do this. We're gonna get pasta, why? because it's the way we're gonna be multiplying this can of squid. And this pasta is uh, Spanish. I always use Spanish. Sometimes I have Italian, but I don't like to share this with anybody because yeah, I mean, Italians think they invented pasta, but you and I, we know it's not true. The pasta obviously was invented in Spain, period. Yes, I am a very pragmatic, objective guy, yeah. So now that this is clear and I got it off my chest, Yes, you can have like this pasta and your hair, number nine. Yeah, it seems it's Italian, but probably it's, oh, made in Italy, man. But why this? Because this is good pasta. It's a pasta that cooks in two minutes. And you want a pasta that cooks very quickly. Or you can buy this Spanish pasta, we call it fideos, that also cooks in two minutes. But take a look at this pasta. This is what you want. This very short kind of pasta, maybe one inch and a half long. But if you don't find this pasta already cooked, already cut, is when you will go with the angel hair and you, you will break it with your hands. So this is what you do. You get some olive oil, like I'm about to do right now. And in this moment, you put the pasta. How much pasta I'm putting here? I think I'm putting 100 grams 
If you are very hungry, put 200. If you are super hungry, put 300. But then it's not going to be as tasty. So less is more, okay? And it's a great way to fight obesity too. Because if you put more, you eat more, and then what happens? <laughs> it happens to happen to my belly. Put less and enjoy more. Less quantity, more flavor, you are healthier. I mean, this is brilliant. So take a look what happens. I put it in the oil, the oil is hot, and you see how they are getting brown. They are getting brown, they are getting brown. This is amazing. And you wanna brown the pasta, why? Because I love to brown the pasta. Sometimes pasta has this kind of flavor of raw flour. Well, why you want raw flour? Raw flour for what? In the moment you toast the pasta, gets this kind of extra nice flavor. Think about it. Uh, do you eat your, 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 your bread raw or, or when it's brown and caramelized? When it's brown and caramelized, and we love it. It's the same with pasta. Pasta actually always is telling me, but Jose, why, why, why they put me in the boiling water just like I am? No, toast me, Jose, toast me. That's why I'm toasting the pasta. So now you see it's nice and toasted. And here, in this moment, this is what we have. We have the squid that we're putting in. Oh, yeah. Every squid with all the sauce. You mix the whole thing, and now is the moment to do what I was waiting. I got the water with all the muscle flavor, and I'm gonna put the water in. How much water? I don't know, take a look. Now we're gonna cover. Remember, this cooks in two minutes. You're gonna sense if it's too much or too little. I think this is requiring a little bit more. Also, depends on how quick your fire works and is making this water boil. So now you see, this is the perfect moment to let the pasta right there sit. Now the squid are mingling. They are talking to each other. In this moment, as this is boiling, it's gonna be ready in two minutes because the pasta cooks in two minutes. This is what you're doing. You're gonna get the mussels and you're gonna clean them yeah, as I'm doing right now. Why? Because you're gonna use these mussels to top the pasta with the squid. This is a very quick way to make a pasta dish using a can of black squid. If you do this, my friends, you're gonna be so, so happy. And now, my friends, if you have the time, you're gonna get a garlic clove, like I have right now. You're gonna put some salt, and you're gonna smash it right here, right now. Oh yeah, until you make a paste. And I think in this moment, a little bit more salt. The garlic is as much. Do we have parsley? We have parsley? I don't have parsley. We have parsley? We don't have parsley. So if we don't have parsley, you don't put parsley. That's fine, but you know what I'm gonna do? I have some green onions here. It's not the same thing, but I'm gonna get the tip of the green onions. I'm gonna break them with my hands, and I'm gonna smash the tips of these green onions with the garlic. And right now, right here, I have this paste, and this is the moment of truth. Smash, 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 great. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more of this water of the mussels. And I'm gonna make sure that all the garlic with the green onion is perfectly mixed. And in this moment, my friends, I'm gonna put the whole thing nicely above. Ah, with a spoon. A spoon, a spoon. I have no spoons, I don't have spoons, because all the spoons are in front of me. So now you put all the garlic with the onion, green top, and take a look what's happening. This moment is the moment of truth, because now the liquid is reducing, the pasta that cooks only in two minutes. Oh my God, this is so tasty. Now you put some salt, because you need some salt, and now the only thing you do is, you eat one muscle, mm. you open yourself a bottle of wine, Mmm, I know this recipe, it looks it's taking longer than the usual recipe here in longer tables, but actually, once you have everything ready, from the moment the squid and the pasta touch the pan to the moment you eat, it's like three minutes, guys. So this is probably the most amazing dish anybody can do home, that you can do quick, fast, and you look like you are the best chef in the world. A dish like this, in Catalonia, we will call it rusellat. And the name Roussillat comes from Ross. Ross comes from Blonde. And this comes because, in a way, when we toast this spaghetti, this pasta, the spaghetti, the pasta is becoming like Blonde. So that's the name. 
usually you don't put almost anything. It's just the stock itself that you may make with the heads of the shrimp or with the fish. But that's what we've been doing here. But this is quick. This is fast food done right. Okay, keep boiling, babies. Keep reducing. This is almost ready. And now I'm going to put the mussels right on top so nothing goes to waste. Now, you don't want to put the mussels on top. You can always get this mussel. Ah! Leave it on the half shell. Put a little bit of olive oil. Put a little bit of vinegar. Oh, yeah. And even if they are salty, you put a little bit of salt. You put a little bit of black pepper. And while your friends are waiting for your amazing roussellade, this black squid pasta, you can serve them a snack as you wait, which are the mussels with vinegar as a tapa that help you make the stock that gave extra flavor to this amazing pasta. You see, two dishes for the price of one. Mm. Touch of oil. And if I did this right, and you're patient, now you can bring down, you see the water is evaporated. And this is the magic trick, guys. We are in a climate crisis. All these recipes that tell you to use liters and liters and quarters of water to boil the pasta and then throw the pasta to garbage, that's garbage. Look at what we did. The same liquid that helped us make the stuff. That helped us cook the mussels. We use it to cook the pasta. No waste, people. No waste. Yes, yes. Join the Spanish cooking movement and we will save humanity from running out of water. Yeah, I cook pasta sometimes, yeah. And I throw the, the water garbage too sometimes. Yeah, I'm guilty too. But it's good to have somebody to be blamed. Yeah. So people, this is done, this is finished. Now if you're patient, remember, if the pasta, you boil it in water and says two minutes, usually we'll cook in two minutes. When the pasta, you cook it in a medium, a liquid medium that is thicker with oil, with sauce, with onion, it's gonna take longer because that water is thicker than water itself. And so the pasta has a harder time <laughs> drinking it. I mean, put vodka and we'll drink it quickly. But if you put something else, pasta is like, ah, why are you giving me here? I don't like those things. So that's why the pasta takes a little bit longer. But if a pasta says two minutes, that that's the one I want you to use, probably it's gonna take three and a half, four, because the density of that liquid. In this moment, you turn off the fire, you can hear the pasta crackling because it's a dry pasta. And when you wait, you're gonna start seeing that the top of the pasta, because it's drying in the surface, is gonna start popping up into the air. Almost like a porcupine. Almost like my hair, my beautiful, perfect hair that is looking to the sky. Okay, the pasta wants to be like my hair, looking to the sky. You see, already you can see how the pasta begins drying and looking up. That means that my pasta is alive. When you eat, eat spaghetti in an Italian restaurant, ah, they're like, what I am? Tomato, really? And all the spaghetti are looking down. This pasta is gonna look up, why? Because this pasta is so proud that has been cooked that way. And when the pasta is proud, it goes up. Boom. Now put all of that in the podcast.